guys, this is Yelly from Elisa Raphael Stickers, and this is just a quick video showing you guys how I organize my stickers. I know some of you have asked, and um, it's this video has been in the queue for a while. So now that I'm catching up on everything, I decided it's time to film this video. Anyway, let me just start um, with what I do with leftover stickers. So what I do with leftover stickers is whenever I have a leftover um, day of the week or a month, I kind of just stick it on this uh, sheet of paper and I save all the date dots as well. I've been able to use these like for uh, 2022, I would use a 20 and the 22, and then that would be 2022. Sometimes I would use them as bullet points, especially when I have one through five or one through four. So there's a few ideas on um, how to use these numbers. If you have any other idea, feel free to leave a comment down below because I would love to know how you use the extra or leftover date dots that you have. After uh, this, I like to um, leave this page for washi. So let me just show you where this washi comes from. If you purchase stickers from my shop, you will see that for the functional stickers and the icon stickers, they have a washi strip to the left. So this washi strip serves to give it stability in case you want to hole punch it and just file it directly. So I could definitely do without the, the sleeves for all my functionals and just hole punch it directly. And, and then it would be less bulk because you know, these pages do cost some bulk. Uh, so that's another idea for you. So I put the washi strips in this um, page whenever I finish up a, a sticker. At some point, I'll have enough of the same one that I could either use it in memory planning or something else. But I, I just think it's a cute way to um, just um, have this washi for future use. Then over here, I have uh, some leftover budget uh, stickers from Kit 41. And then I just proceed to add the stickers in here per kit. Ideally, I would be able to have each page showing so that I know exactly what it is that I have left over. But as you can see, I have a ton of leftover stickers. So I don't really have the space to just have like five of these binders dedicated to this. So this is working for me right now. Um, the other one would work better, but it's just, I don't know, it'll just take too much space. And what I do is I try to plan my vertical videos, which I haven't yet, like the memory planning ones, uh, around what stickers I have left over over here or what Erin Condren stickers I have or whatever leftover Happy Planner stickers I have from when I used to use Happy Planner. Anyway, you know, there's an option. So then the, here's whatever I have left over from Kit 43. And I don't know if you can see, but typically I like to just put all the stickers in one page. And if I do this one kit at a time, it doesn't take but like five minutes to do so. If I start doing this all at once, then it, I'm going to spend a few hours catching up. But, um, you know, I've learned also, it doesn't necessarily have to be perfect. So if I have a whole bunch of stickers that I haven't been able to put in this way, like you can see um, here, that's fine. I just file them as is, but I try to do my best going forward to do it so that it just gets easier to maintain the, you know, and just get into a habit. So what I would do is whenever I have a chance, I would take these out and then consolidate them. And that's less bulk for me to uh, store the stickers. And then this goes on and on this way with uh, sticker kits that uh, like stickers I have left over from kits that I've previously used. And sometimes these are kits that I might use again and I might bring them back next year. Some others I might not. So I, you know, who knows, but I have them here. At some point, I would love to just give these stickers a new home for somebody that could make good use of them. So 
Um, I know there were some people that will go to a women's shelter and um, with uh, planners, like, you know, those old planners that, um, like clearance planners that are like last year's or whatever, and they redate them using leftover stickers. So, you know, um, I would love to donate to a project such as that one. I, f I forgot the contact name I had, but there was this girl that used to do that. So I I'd love to try to find her again. I don't know, maybe I will. Anyway, um, this goes on and on. And this is just me. Um, at some point I started doing it this way, but that didn't quite work. Like just adding scripts to one page. I'm just now using them for a kit. And since I have created these kits, I know exactly what's in them. <laughs> so when I need something of a certain color, just by flipping through the kits, I can kind of remember what it is that I'm looking for. And then um, for kit number one and two, I have a ton of pages of each, as you can see over here, because uh, those are not only my first kits, but I had to print a whole bunch of pages that then I had to reprint and recut when I was... Uh, you know, playing around with sizing. So that is why there's a ton of uh, page one and two. Yeah, so basically, um, so this is why there's a lot of page one and two. So yeah, basically, you know, this is it. And um, this is how I store my leftover stickers. Now let's go to the next binder. This binder has my uh, lineup, my, my kit lineup, right? So this was 425, which I already did. So this is 59, I should be setting this up soon, uh, my weekly. So this is the kit that I'm gonna use in May 9 and so forth. And then I have a page divider, which look at this, these page dividers, <laughs> you can't even tell. So they're, they're just too small. I appreciate that they were trying to keep it inside the binder, but then, you know, it just barely divides anything. Anyway, I, I'm still using them. And then I have my daily duo. So I have my hourly first, then I have my daily duo. And then I have my, what I hope to be my memory planning, which I haven't been doing, right? So I would, <clears throat> once I get my compact vertical, I would just add, another section for the compact vertical and keep the sticker uh, lineup in here. So I like to have them in one binder. That way, whenever I'm gonna plan that week, it's ready to go. I don't have to start searching here and there for stickers. Uh, whenever I do this, I already know if it's a new kit, I know I won't have stickers in the leftover binder, but <clears throat> if I am using a kit that I've used before, then I'll go and search the leftover binder to see if there's any stickers from that um, binder. Like for this kit, I do have um, these stickers. It's just that they're, uh, they're budgeting stickers, but I should just bring them over anyway, since I'm gonna be using this kit, right? So I'm gonna be using kit 41 for Memorial Day weekend and let's, you see, this is what I do. I bring it from the other binder. Anyway, on to the next one. And then my third binder, which at some point is gonna have to come out and I'm, I have an empty one over here. So at some point I'm gonna have to just split this up because it's quite thick right now. I don't think the, the rings can hold much more without spilling. You see how this one is trying to bend already. So what I have here is besides all these uh, pages for uh, budgeting, what I have here are my functional stickers. By functional, I mean scripts, icons, and what is really truly considered functional. So first I like to have my, my, um, my kind of functional, then I like to have my icons, and uh, I should organize them by sticker, like by number. I think that should be better, but I, I just need the time to reorganize. And right now, what I'm trying to do is just kind of catch up as much as I can. But I do have it in my to-do list to just order these uh, by number. So then all the icons, right? Icons, 
all of the icons and this is kind of like a sneak peek of uh, a collection that I'm hoping to work on soon at some point like a mini collection of uh, like witchy holistic type of um, items so anyway um, you know icons 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 a ton of icons all the icons I have and then I start with uh, with uh, some of these which are kind of scripts but also functionals my breakfast lunch and dinner and my Facebook Instagram and YouTube then I start with my icon scripts which is those where I combine the icons with the script so I have all of those here and then I just transition into scripts and then it's just you know scripts 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 that's all there is and remember the strips that I told you about you see once I finish all of these I'm gonna have so much washi and then by saving that washi you see how I, right now I have one two three four five of this same washi like if I save all these washi strips that hopefully with any leftover stickers that I have that go with this can give me an extra week in my memory planning right and then these are like some old retired scripts or, or scripts that I never really released that are just kind of, you know, around here somewhere. And then at the very, very end, I have some Reiki uh, scripts and stickers that I never really uh, put out because these were going to be released in my other shop, which I didn't do. And then at the very end, I have Elisa's original doodles, which I sometimes like to incorporate in some, in some of my uh, planning videos. And, and look at what I did here, guys. I kind of ripped this page, like part of it, so that I could add these three because I, I only had three of these, right? Sticky notes, uh, stickers. And I had a lot more of the, of the movie marquee. So I was like, well, you know what? I should combine them because it's not worth just having two pages with just a little bit on each. Um, what I typically do is I kind of peel everything off, but I kind of wanted to also keep one of the numbers here and just add these three in there. Anyway, I also need to uh, put a little nice paper here that says Elisa Robel stickers. And I, I want to also um, put some lettering here so that I know exactly what it is. Uh, but I prefer not to use stickers over here because unless they are glossy and something that you can wipe with all the handling, they tend up to get dirty. So I prefer to just add a strip of paper inside the sleeve, which is what I'm going to be doing. And then hopefully next time I show you my binders, you'll see that I was able to complete this part of the process. Okay, guys, so I am not an affiliate with Amazon or anything, but um, these little binders, it says here, Blue Summit Supplies. I don't remember. If I find the link, I'll, I'll, I'll link it to you guys, but I got them off Amazon, and I think they came in a pack of six, so that's the only downside that you had to buy six. Right now, I'm only really using three, but I have other three. I mean, I will need to use one. Uh, for that one that I need to split, but I'll still have two leftovers and, and you know, I, I have a sticker shop. Maybe you have more stickers than I have, so maybe you'll need it. Um, maybe I can use one of these to start adding the Erin Condren and Happy Planner stickers that I have laying around all over so that I can use in my uh, vertical planning spreads. Anyway, the little sleeves that go inside are also mini binder sheet protectors, so you can search for that and that's how you can find those as well i hope you enjoyed this quick video and i hope it was helpful for you because uh you know it's sometimes it's it's good and nice to see how other people are doing things and i'm not buying any type of expensive items to do this uh, these binders and the sheet protectors weren't that much money and i got a ton a big bang for my box so hopefully you guys will be able to do this too thank you take care have a wonderful rest of your week guys bye